to another episode of I'm Down TV's podcast and YouTube channel. We are your hosts, George Goody, Christoph the Third. We're coming at you with a very spicy, jalapeno ass topic right now. So we're literally getting into this conversation right now. So you're about to jump into the middle. My question was, Chris, what is your perception of, of clubs and girls not wanting to get hit on? Come on. All right. So this is my thing on girls not wanting to get hit on, right? I think that's not true. I know you snap, but it's okay. This is my thing. I think every girl, low key or high key, wants to be hit on because they all want to feel wanted. You want to be the girl that every guy breaks neck for. I know you don't want to be a girl and be like, ha. Uh, yeah, she she's too respectable. I'm not gonna look that way. You don't want to be that girl. First of all, if you're going out out, like I mean like out out, you usually dress seductively or attractively. You're not gonna be like wearing a nun outfit. Mm-hmm. No disrespect to anybody who's a nun. I respect you. You're committed. You're devoted. Mm-hmm. Whatever. But you're not gonna do that. You're gonna get whatever you got to show what God gave you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. then you you don't want a guy to disrespect you, and I can understand that, right? There's a fine line between disrespect and compliment. Mm-hmm. But you want to be hit on because you want to be wanted, or even if you don't want to be verbally hit on, you want to be looked at. Absolutely. And you know, no, you hit around in there. I agree. Um, we're just talking about what's something that we probably disagree on, right? Like we're just talking about that, and I don't know. Um, this is, I think this is going to be a controversial topic within us and the girls. You get me? Because I've heard this many times. Girls say, oh, but what if, you know, it's a girlfriend's birthday and we just want to, you know, go out and dance and have fun. So why don't you just go to the girl's house and dance? You know, this is the thing. So this is how I feel about clubs. Clubs is open season for (laughs) men to hunt. (laughs) Yes. Clubs is not for you to go dance with. Look, you can come at me however you want, honestly, because it's how I feel. I don't think clubs is for you to go with your girls out and dance. You can do that at the girlfriend's house. You can do that at your house. You don't have to go to a club and dance. You get what I'm saying? When you go to a club, it is open season for every man to come in and hit on you. You get me? If you're you, you if you're married, you don't belong in the club, in my opinion. If you're <laughs> married, bro, if you're married, you should not be in a club. Yeah, do you agree with that? I personally think you should not be in a club if you're married. You're in the wrong place because you're going to have a guy like me. So, I feel if you're married, you should not go to the club. Because you're going to see a guy like me pull up and be like, what to do, shawty? <laughs> what to do, shawty? So we, and, uh, just, we just became ATO. You got to skate to her. Yeah. You got to skate to her. Yo, I'm, I'm, if you look good, I might just try to holler at you. And you're going to hit me with the, I'm married? Fuck you doing in the club? <laughs> Why are you here? Why? Why are you here? Are you with, look, unless you're with your husband, don't come to the club. <laughs> what are you doing here? Or, 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 don't get mad that I hit on you. Don't swerve me. I got a husband. Hold up, bitch. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, bro. You got to talk to me now. <laughs> you got not get to talk to me now about that. I thought you going to say, come on, George. You know, we got to. I understand where you're coming from, but bruh, don't try to swear at me and make me look bad in front of the homies because you got a husband. Like, bruh, really? You the you the one that's coming out here. So what you're saying no. is No. You can go out like if she goes out to the club or out to whatever, she should take off her wedding ring. Cause all these are off. Absolutely. All bets are off. No, she shouldn't take off her wedding ring. She shouldn't be in the club at all. That's what I'm saying. Cause you respect Mary, but you don't want her around. Yeah, because if you look good. Someone like me might look at you and be like, you look good. Look, this is the thing. The club is very simple. The club is literally alcohol. The business of the club is to sell alcohol, right? And music, right? Yeah. So the reason why they have ladies' nights and stuff like that at clubs is because when girls are there, God men God. come. You get me? Men are not there to just look at you and go home. Ha <laughs> ha. Wow, you're really pretty. Go home. No, we're there because we're hunting. We're like, yo, I kind of want to get with that. I want to take that home. I was like, whatever your little thing is. You get me? But the reason why we're there is for a reason. You get me? We're not there to to just be with amongst each other. That makes no sense. You, go to, you don't go to hang out with your friends? No, I don't go to a club to hang out with my friends. That makes no sense. Look, this is the thing. 
If I go to a club, now, I personally have gone to a club and hung out with my friends, right? But best believe, while I was in the club, I'm looking at girls. And if I have the opportunity to get with a girl, I'm going to get with a girl. But I think that that's a stupid place to chill at. The only reason why we're chilling is because they have alcohol there. Now, if you go to a house where they have music and alcohol, well then why the fuck are we not there? We're going to save a shit ton of money on alcohol for one, and we're just going to listen to music. You get what I'm saying? The thing that makes it different that there's girls there, honestly, if you really... And girls if, dress nice. If you really think about it, yeah, if you really think about it, like, okay, when we go to a club, right? At any point, why would I be there if it's not good-looking girls? At least for me, like, there's no good-looking girls, it's like... Because you can, you can go out and I'm drink and go, have a good time. I'm not going to go to a club where it's full of guys. Like, if I know there's a club known for just only guys, I will not go to that club. I will go to the club where I know there's full of girls. You get what I'm saying? Like, I know that there's girls here, there's pretty girls. Why not? There's... You know what I mean? Like it makes no sense. Like we know people where we could go to bars and just get free drinks all day. So if I if I go to just hang out and drink beers and scotches all day, I just go to a bar. You get me? But we go to a club well, because it's like, you want to find a girl. Exactly. That's the whole point. So I feel like girls that do not want to get hit on don't belong in the club. Don't go to the club. <laughs> There's no point in going to the club. The whole point of the club is for you to get hit on. Quite literally, because you said public service announcement. You dress this. Like, if like you are said, not single. And you don't want to get hit on, do not cross yes. George at a public. <laughs> well, okay. Alcoholic tobacco. Right, yeah, because, I mean, in reality, why are you there? Especially, look, I think if you're married, you don't belong in the club. <laughs> no. If you're with your husband, I guess it's acceptable. Like a day night? <laughs> yeah, I guess it's acceptable. But if you're not with your husband, you're not with your girlfriends, why are you there? That's not your life. That's You're not the single girl no more. You shouldn't be there because a bachelorette is... No, no, so no. Now, why now, are you there? Why are so, you there? But so now you're telling people how they should live their lives? I'm not telling people how to live their lives. You know, you don't do whatever the fuck you want to do. I'm telling you why you shouldn't be there in the first place. I, I look, honestly, I do, I do honestly feel that, that why, what is your purpose of being there? For what? Have fun? For, have fun? Well, what are you doing? Okay, let's break this down. Having fun, how? I don't know. You know, have you heard that girls go, uh, I just want to go somewhere and dance. Exactly, right? But why do you want to go somewhere and dance? Like, why not to be, if you want to dance, why can't you dance at home? Why do you have to go, why do you have to go somewhere and dance? That's a good point. You know what I mean? Like, why is it, like, yo, there's, is that, this is the thing that, like, some people just want to admit. Is that you, like you said, you want the attention. You know, if you go to a club and dance, you have a bunch of guys there, you're going to get hit on. You want the attention. I don't see any other reason why you would go to a club. So, or maybe like you know, g- girls. I don't, I don't fully understand a girl. I think a girls like a like a like a math equation doesn't have an answer. For sure, <laughs> right? Like like high, yeah. never ending, <laughs> not equation, yeah, but that's a never ending exactly. number. Exactly. Uh, I think women want the idea of oh, they want the idea of being wanted, but when you hit on them, they get disrespected, which makes no sense. Makes no sense. Because from afar, they want to know, like, you know, I look so good that I know these guys want me. But when a guy comes and expresses to you how much he wants you, that's when she's like, ah. So what you're saying is that I should be doing googly eyes <laughs> with you across to make you feel like you're pretty. And then but I should not think about it. I should just go home. I think that would make her so happy. She would be nice. like, you wouldn't believe what just happened, girl. There was this guy who looks kind of like Drake, except he's a little tall, shorter, you know. <laughs> okay. This is what I think we need. I think we need, we seriously need somebody to comment down below. We need that. We need a girl to comment down below. First of all, you're going to get a bunch of girls replying at you. Not at me. Why at me? Because you were the one who took a reckless. I don't care. You can reply at me. I'd rather you reply to I'm down <laughs> and to the podcast itself and let us know what you think because I'm honestly, honestly, I can, there's a thing. There's a difference between I can empathize with you and I can understand. You get me? I can empathize. Oh, I just want to go and have fun with my friends. Oh, okay. I feel, I feel what you're coming from. I still don't understand why you need to go to a club to have fun with your friends. You get me? And that, 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 stuff well, with my friends. Get, yes. If you're not willing to get hit on, though. You get me? I think that every girl who goes to the club has to be willing to get hit on. That is the number one thing on your mind. I'm going to get hit on today. Absolutely. But let me give you the first answer and counter argument they're going to hit you with. Okay. It's like... So why does a guy have to feel the need to hit on me? He's attracted to you. What do you mean? Okay, but maybe a girl's attracted to you, but she doesn't hit on you. Yeah, because in society, it's not a girl thing to hit on the guy. So, so what we're saying here, that society screwed up. 
Because you are going out there hoping to get hit on too. I'm not. No, I'm definitely not. So why do you go out? Why do I go out to a club? In general. In general? Well, if I go out to a club, I'm expecting to hit on the girl. Like, you, that's what you go out for. Well, and I'm not saying that's my main purpose to go out, but that's definitely something I look into. Like, I'm, I'm hoping, like, in my mind, like, I find somebody that I can get, at least get the number or something like that. Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. At least for me, look, for me, out of all the time I've gone out, which isn't many, out of all the time I've gone out, my thing in my head is, okay, we're going out with the homies, so it's going to be a fun night. We're going to drink alcohol, right? <laughs> if we drink alcohol. And... Do some hood rest stuff. We're going to do some hood rest stuff. That's my... my 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 process, you get me? Whoever I'm going out, whether it's with coworkers and whatnot, you get me? If I'm going out with coworkers, that's still my mentality. That's like, my, so mostly, most of the time when I do go out, you know what I'm saying? It's like with, I guess, different people, yeah. right? It's just people that I'm not usually like going out with all the time. So when we do go out, it's different. It's like, okay, well, my, my, what I'm thinking about is like, once I go out, look, let's get one thing out there. Once I'm out, I'm looking at girls automatically. That's what I'm looking at the Breaking neck all the way. Well, that's like, because you, I, is that because you're like not Mr. Relationship Guy ever? Maybe. Could, well, because if you generalize it that way, then you say that every guy is going out. <laughs> no, no, I, I won't say that. But I think that as a man, you are looking at girls. Would you not say that? Yeah, I, you're checking out girls all the time. Like, and especially going to a club. Like a club, girls are, like you said, they're dressed more seductively. Like you're trying to catch my eye. Like so, it's not like if your eye like aligns with her, it's not your fault, it's hers. Yeah, you provoked them. <laughs> you definitely provoked them. Cause hey, think about it, think about it. Yeah, so okay, uh, so think, think about it like this: you're going out, your dress is tighter than usual. Cause when you go to work, you don't wear this tight old dress, right? You just so you never saw a girl from accounting the same way you see yeah, her. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. When you go out, you don't wear. Uh, like you said, a nun dress. You get me? You go out, you dress seductively. You get me? You kind of try to pop out your features. So if you're a girl that has big boobs, you're gonna pop that out. You get me? If you're a girl that has a big butt, you're gonna pop that out. You Whatever is that in your feature, like, you're gonna highlight that feature so that it can captivate people. So that when people look at you, because you know she wants to slay. Exactly, exactly. So you wanna slay. I wanna slay too. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna look and be like, yo, what it do, what it do. I don't want to be able to do that. I don't think I don't uh, think there's anything wrong with that. that. I can't believe you no, that. No, I don't think there's anything wrong with that though. Look, if I go out and I see somebody that I think is attractive, I have every right in the world to talk to you. Every right in the world. Every right in the world. And she has every right in the world to think. You have every right in the world to get mad, right? On the day to day. But if we're at a club, why are you mad? Why? Like, and, and you know what? No, my problem isn't why you're mad. My problem lies in why do you hit me with I have a boyfriend? What the fuck are you doing if you have a boyfriend? Like, what the fuck are you doing here? It makes no sense. Where is your boyfriend? I don't see your boyfriend. All I see is a bunch of girls around you getting hit by a bunch of guys. Like, I'm going to be another guy. I'm going to be the fifth motherfucker in there. Yo, you want to get a drink real quick? <laughs> You feel me? Oh, uh, yo, that's the only common logic I see between this. I do not see why you're in the club if you have a boyfriend or husband. Leave the club. Go to Barnes and Noble. And start a book club with your girlfriends. Go to a coffee shop. Don't go to shots in freaking Winwood trying to turn up while you have a boyfriend. That makes no sense to me. That does not make sense. I'm down. Is not responsible. <laughs> For George's views expressed on this channel, I'm down as a collective Absolutely of two right. people. Mm -hmm. George Gutierrez, GXP, I'm gonna whatever. Blah, 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 blah. I, can't, I hate how you can say GXP, buddy. JXRGE GVTI. Let's get that one right. George, he, come, he came okay. here from Goody. It's his <laughs> own idea and his own thoughts are individual. He's only in this channel. Okay. Y'all heard my rants. Y'all heard my obnoxious, ridiculous. Uh, can we say other bigger words than that? I can. Uh, like? Savagery. Savagery. Ignorance. Ignorance. I agree with all the words. Uh, I lost a word. Radical. Okay. I lost a word. I was going to say, um, I lost a word. So I'm done with that word. Hyperbolous. Okay. I don't know what that means. You hear me with big words. You know I ain't educated, man. I don't got two degrees uh, like you. But yeah, so, <laughs> yo, definitely, 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 you have something to say against this. I mean, okay, 
What are your thoughts on a girl with a boyfriend and husband going to the club? Or girls getting out in the club and dinner? What are your, what are your uh, thoughts? I think, <laughs> I guess, I think, <laughs> like, you know, ideally if you're going to go out, go out with the man you're with, right? I do understand, like, there's such a thing as girls' night. I know I hang out with the boys sometimes, mm-hmm. whatever, no big deal. Uh, you know, just understand that is man nature. You, he, you said it. It's hunting season. If you see a, a pretty girl, and, and you know, a couple of videos ago, we talked about the idea of opportunity and how opportunity can be presented by the way you look at things. So when I got hit on you, just look at it, not as a disrespect, but look at it as a compliment. Say, you know what? He thinks I'm attractive, and out of all the girls he could have talked to, he chose me, so he must think I was the most attractive girl in this place. Mm-hmm. That would, instead of insulting you and enraging you, Increase your confidence. <laughs> mm-hmm. So that's my opinion, girls. My opinion is that sometimes you girls are too dramatic because you wanted to be hit on subconsciously, right? Because you wanted the idea of a guy wanting you. But once he hits you, you feel disrespected because you think that he thinks you're easy. So I don't understand what the middle ground is. Hey, you look beautiful, but I don't want to hit on you. Which does it make <coughs> most sense in most guys' head? Mm-hmm. So if a guy doesn't process things the way you do, don't blame him because two thousand something years of history has taught us men do not understand women at all, ever. I don't know. You know, and and for me, like, like even though I have like, I'm, I guess I'm strong opinionated on that because I am, and I understand that there is like, there's again. This is not said in black and white. There is details to this shit, right? But overall... It's like a busy <laughs> <laughs> I guess there are details to this shit, right? I guess overall, the whole thing is that you shouldn't get mad to if you're getting hit on. Period. You, know what I mean? you shouldn't be snapping if you get hit on. Fuck you talking to me for? Like, fuck you mean what I'm talking to you? Like, this open, like you know what I'm saying? Like... So, I don't know, it, it, it's different for different people, you know what I mean? I know there's people with other opinions on it, but yo, this shit is just, in my opinion, if you have a boyfriend, if you have a husband, you, shouldn't, you do not belong in a club. That is not your scene. Like, that's over with. Like, that, that part of your life is done. That shit got left in the back, bro. You're moving forward, you know what I'm saying? Go, go, I don't, painting. What the fucking couples do? They go painting. Yeah, painting with a twist. <laughs> Painting with, go painting with a twist where you paint and drink wine and shit. Go do that. That's married people's life. You know what I mean? Don't be at the club trying to, you know what I'm saying, cup a drink and sh- Don't do that shit. That's not your life no more. You know what I mean? You're done. You're, you're a rat. That's all right. Let's wrap that up. Let's move on to the next chapter of your life. So that's how I feel about that. You know what I mean? I don't know how y'all feel about that. But we want to hear it. Yes. Comment. Yo, plow me, bro. If you want to smash those comments. Saint George, you're like whatever. I don't George, give a fuck. only George. <laughs> whatever you wanna do, tag me. Let me know how you feel. I wanna hear your voice. Then hit us up. Let us know what to do, what to do. And we'll reply to your stuff mm-hmm. because we understand mm-hmm. that women are always right. Mm-hmm. Even when we no, okay, fine. No, <laughs> no, don't lie. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm gonna close it up with a nice <laughs> note. But, all right, just reply. We'll see what we got to say to you. Like, subscribe, comment, retweet, all that stuff. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button. This is peace. Better not see you at the clip.